everyone, it's TK here, TK with Doris Scar here with another anime episode review of Megalobox 2, No Man, this is episode 8. Alright, so this is the fight with Lou and Mac. Mac is a returning fighter, recovering from a, a pretty harsh injury. He was pretty much paralyzed, but he uses some type of tech, some prosthetics that allow him to fight again. Okay, so match starts, round one begins, Mac's on the aggressive, on the attack I should say, Lou, he's on defense. Uh, the orphan kids that's with Joe watching thinks that Lou's in trouble. Joe's like just relax. He's just trying to get a feel of of Mac. Next round he's gonna he's gonna show him what he got. And that's pretty much what happened. Next round is the fight is going Lou's way. He's pretty much controlling the fight. This is kind of how things happen in real life. We watch like MMA or boxing. Sometimes fighters do that. They'll not do that much at the beginning. They're just trying to get a feel of the power. Or see kind of how they're going to fight. And then next round, that's when they kind of do their thing. Because they feel like they're adjusted enough to what the opponent is going to do or fight like. So that's what's happening here. Then again, to round three. Mac, he's he's then got cut up by Lou. Lou is the guy that beat Joe, by the way. pre megalo box too. You saw it on flashback. But Lou, he done, he done cut Mac on the eye. And he's pretty much just about to finish him off until... This uh, phenomenon happens. This is the thing that they talked about before the fight happened. Mac, since he has returned, they they call it Mac time. He apparently just make miracle comebacks. And that ended up happening here during this fight. Right when Lou was going to hit him and drop him with the final blow, he dodges it. Hit Lou with a hard one that pushes him back against the ropes. Uh, I ain't going to do whole play by play. But in short, Yuri saw this comeback happening. He saw that Lou was about to be in grave danger. And he's telling the he's telling the coach guy, he's telling him, throw in the towel. Before the towel could even get thrown in, Mac hits Lou with a hard one. It drops him, mouthpiece comes out of his mouth, he's out. TKO. Mac wins, he's the new champion. And then uh Lou, he's getting carried with a stretcher. He's getting surgery done. Uh, Joe and uh, Yuri have a little talk. He Joe was telling Yuri like, "Don't don't give up on uh, Lou. He's still fighting in there, and I promise that I'm going to give him a real fight someday." And Yuri, he's feeling kind of bad about about having uh, taking Yuri under his under his wing and having him. Megalo box and things of that nature. He kind of reflected a little bit back on his uh, his fighting past, pretty much. And uh, we got a little bit of uh, got to see a little bit of Max outside life. He was with his family. He was playing with his kid, and it was time for the kid to eat. And something weird happened with Mac. He went crazy and he fought his kid over. Like it was like a struggle, like they was pull, pulling for the plate of I think it was like some kind of cake or something. Fell on the ground. Mac attacks the food like a wild man. His wife is concerned. The kid is crying, and then she goes to see the Roscoe. Roscoe is a guy who is in charge of the prosthetics that Max the Mac uses, and he's pretty much just saying he might just be stressed mentally. It's your job to support him, and. So just just support him and he should be fine. He's pretty much just trying to say uh, it's nothing to worry about, pretty much. And we kind of got to see that Mac, he only, I mean, I mean, I mean not Mac, Roscoe. He only cares about his company and his stock going up. Because he was talking about how the stock is going to rise up. How much is going up since the fight happened. Since the person that is using his gear is a uh, kind of having the big influence on the stock rising up so that he only care about profit and his money going up uh the girl i don't know her name but she was in megalo box one and she was with yuri she's the one that turned over the new leaf if you watched my last review so her brother actually works in the medical field too i believe and he was talking to her and i guess he worked on this gear this technology that mac is using and he's like i discovered something I just discover a flaw within uh, the brain chip or whatever that Mac is using. So he's planning on releasing the data, I guess, to the world. 
And we're going to see how that plays out. And towards the end of the episode, we see Mac. He's sitting home. This is a screenshot you see right here. He's sitting home watching the fight, watching the replay of the fight. I guess he feels that something is off because uh, he don't even remember when he have these weird moments. Like the moment he has with the kid, he don't remember that happening. So I guess he's trying to figure out what is happening to him during this time, during this, his Mac times. Because he's re-watching the fight, staring at it with a... Uh, I don't know the right word, but he's he's looking at it. He's I guess he's suspicious or have his doubts or worries about it too because I guess he don't remember. He probably don't remember knocking out Lou. So he's sitting home watching the the film, the recording or whatever of the fight. And the episode ended with the Roscoe guy dancing because I guess he's so happy that Mac won and now his profits is going to be going up with the stock and all that good stuff. Overall, the episode was pretty okay. But yeah, feel free to give your thoughts and comments down below. I'm TK, Tier the Risk Guard. Thanks for tuning in. Check out my Eden's Zero anime episode review I did earlier this morning. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.